Welcome back, everybody. Now we start with Knuckles' story. Okay, let's go. As far back as I can remember, I've been living here on this dark island, always guarding the Master Emerald from anything that could harm it. I don't know why I was given this job, why it was my fate, destined to be here forever. What the? What's going on here? Oh no! Something's happened to the Master Emerald! Huh? Who are you? Did you do this? Oh, I'll get you for this! incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Oh no, it's starting to happen. Without the Master Emerald's power, this whole island will fall into the ocean. So, before we start up, it clearly, well, clearly so shows Knuckles' part of the story actually starts off, like, right at the be beginning. Eggman, well, the, chaos, the Master Emerald breaking apart, Chaos and this light and our guide ending up being freed, and the Angel Island deciding to fall from the sky because of the lack of power. That all happened right before the night of Chaos's first encounter. That, that's our main thing. So when it comes to Knuckles, Knuckles is very close combat oriented. Three hit combo, one, two, three, and it's a rush. As well as Knuckles can glide, just like he can within the older games. But with that being said, Knuckles' story is a lot different. Because if we re repeat his monologue from the beginning, he's been on the island for a long, long time. So he's not exactly used to people. And you can easily misconstrue stupidity for naivety. That's the main thing with Knuckles. It, it, he's not an idiot. <laughs> So we start up his missions. His missions are treasure hunts. As you can see at the bottom screen, we have uh, three little icons hit there, each one being a piece of the Master Emerald. The closer we get to either one of them, they'll start flashing and beeping for us. Like here. And we're starting off in the city area of Speed Highway. We break these down. Oh. 
So you're essentially just playing Treasure Hunter. Sometimes uh, the the pieces are out in the open, and sometimes they are hidden within enemies or areas. So keep an eye on where they are and just follow the beeping. It may not be the most pleasant sound in the world, but it gets the job done. So, let's keep on going and try and find our last piece. Alright, with, with the addition of gliding, Knuckles has the ability to climb up walls. So this leaves any platforming he's not able to handle normally through jumps from gliding, he's able to clean up to easily clean onto a wall and handle the rest himself. Simple as that. Is it in the end? Oh yeah. There we go. And this is the whole gameplay uh <laughs> Gameplay style for Knuckles, it's treasure hunting. This is why in most media, <laughs> Knuckles is more oriented around treasure hunting, period. This is a game that started out that theme. So, logically, this should be right around the time that... I'm thinking time-wise, uh, timeline-wise. Since it's night, and since this is, this is legitimately after Eggman, uh, Eggman fought Sonic with the uh, Egg Hornet, this should be, give or take, right around the right time when uh, when he ambushed both Sonic and uh, Tails at Casino uh, Opolis. Let me just check if I'm right here. No trains are currently in service. Oh, no, not yet. I might be jumping. Oh, no, I'm not jumping ahead. I'm thinking in the right place. I'm just not thinking at the right time. So our next level is actually Casino Hopeless. We just simply jump up and we glide. Correction. Uh, what's happening currently when it comes to storyline, because I got my timeline a little mixed up, uh, Knuckles is in Casino Opolis at the exact same time as, Knuck as uh, Sonic and Tails. As you can see, like, this is best bet right when they're getting out, when they got the Chaos Emerald. So, yeah. We break that statue and we get the first one. In the enemy. Yep, yeah, enemy. Now we just head on up here. See the areas we weren't able to see as uh, Sonic or Tails. And let's just fly around here real quick. And there it is. Wait, why did my rings take? That's weird. Where in the world am I? I don't remember being here before, but something about it is familiar. <laughs> hmm. This is very strange. <sighs> All right. So we're back here. We've seen this place with tails, so we don't. There's nothing to pick up here. It's only story, and uh, I forgot how fast Knuckles can actually run this game. Knuckles is actually rel relatively fast. 
So there's that blessing. Call that seven emeralds are essential to our survival. It is for the good of all our people. How can I make you understand? Attacking other countries, stealing and killing can't be the right path to peace. No one has the right to take their holy grounds. I beg you, Father. Now where am I? Back in Station Square, I see. What's going on here anyway? Yeah, Nuggles doesn't really have fast on the uptake. And is he? Hmm. I wonder what those guys are doing. Uh, I wonder what those guys are doing. Yeah, so it the, he he enters in Casino Park right when they got there and exited exited a lot faster than them. That's why they were in the sewer part of uh, Casino Opus right before Knuckles got his vision and no ended up at the very end. Service. So let's end up over here. follow him. Eggman, give me back the Master Emerald. N Knuckles. Oh, this isn't what you're after. <gasps> you're right. That's okay, though. I can use you as a guinea pig to test it. Chaos! Chaos! Chaos? It's that creature again. The same one I saw on my island. He was there when the Master Emerald shattered. I'm sure of it. He saved me the trouble of looking for him. Now I'll get him good. <laughs> Way to go, Chaos! <laughs> Changing shape won't scare me! Fine, give it your best shot! So we find out what happens with Chaos too. Knuckles is the one to deal with him. As well as uh, a nice audio part of uh, that conversation. It's how Eggman talks with Knuckles. It, it's not in a very aggressive tone, it's it's more passive in the way he speaks. But let's let's show off uh Kiasu's gimmick. You can't fight him head on. You had to wait until he uh, tries to uppercut you for him to actually be open for an attack. Because he'll easily bat you away if you're too close. So best way to do do anything with this is bide your time. Yep. The, okay, the hitbox is kind of wonky, but you you see the general gist of it. It's we're just playing a waiting game in all honesty. Besides that, uh, it, this is where good. Mm. Ooh. Come on, buddy. Come on, try to me. Try to me. Come on, I know you can do it. And he's going to evolve. Whoa! He's going to this form. 
is going to separate himself and try to, well, surround you like that. He, he is he is an outright outright aggressive variant of the normal normal chaos. It's just he plays a little weirder with knuckles than anything else. And since we don't have any equipment that would actually help us, we're not that much at a disadvantage. Best advice I can give you is play it safe, egg him on, and. Uh, the fight should be relatively easy. Is that all you got? Wow. So what have you won this time? You have yet to see the true powers of chaos. Yeah, yeah, that still doesn't faze me, you hear? I know something that might. It's about Sonic. What? What about Sonic? He's after the pieces of the Master Emerald too. What do you mean? You're not the only one on a wild chase, idiot. Why should I ruin your surprise? <laughs> I wonder what he meant by that. I'd better find Sonic. I wonder why Sonic is after the Master Emerald. I'd better work fast and get to the bottom of this. See, Knuckles is relatively smart. He, he's, re he's deductive. But this is where his weak, where his weak point is very glaring. He, he, people you can easily get in his head and that that's a sad thing about Knuckles' character. He's naive to to bloody T. You've got the shovel claw. Now you can dig through dirt and stone. Press the jump and action buttons simultaneously. So it's relatively easy to trick him because it He's open to most ideas, that's the main thing. And that becomes more of a problem for him than anything else. Okay, let's place down this tri trigger, and it blows up the monkey. So we hold on to this, and we head up the mountain. Since it's already open for us, which I'm surprised is opens up for Sock and Tails, we can now head up there to Red Mountain because that also has a monkey guard. But back on the point of naivete, uh, Knuckles is naive. That's that's the main gist of it. it. It's not... He's naive at this point. Later on they do play up that he's relatively stupid, but at this point it, it's true naivete because uh, loneliness and being stuck in one place for years alone it could really do a lot of messed up things to your head. <laughs> So, well, let's go check out how the Master Emerald is doing real quick, because we can do that. And it's heavily implied that this part of the island, where the Rock Basin is, and all that area, is actually a part of Angel Island. And it's still a little chunk. Kind of sad, but... Alright, let's fly over to Red Mountain and we'll end off this part. Next time on Sonic Adventure, we'll figure out what Eggman meant by on a wild goose chase. I'll see you all next time.